I love hiking and I love coffee. And quite often I'd go out and I used to make my coffee in a flask before I went. But by the time I got to drink it, because it's been sat in the flask for a couple of hours, it just doesn't taste right. It didn't taste the same. So I thought, how about when I go out and about, I can brew the coffee whilst I'm there. But then that threw up another problem on the last video I did where I did that. I went up to Bamford Edge. My grinder didn't work properly, so I ended up with a really coarse grind. And also I dropped all the coffee beans in the snow. And uh, that really didn't help. So I thought there's got to be a better way. There's got to be a better way I can brew coffee whilst outdoors and whilst on a hike. So I've come out to the Roaches, which is in Staffordshire. And I'm coming to brew coffee three different ways. Um, I'm going to do it via a mocha pot. I'm going to do it with a French press and with a filter, just like I did on the Bamford Edge video. So yeah, I'm going to judge it on the transportation, the preparation, the ease of actually brewing, and then just the overall results. And with the equipment, uh, I've got my coffee pre-ground, I've got my filter papers, and I've got my V60 filter. The French press is probably going to be the easiest one because I've been able to put the coffee grounds straight into the French press. I'll pop the lid on, put a little bit of tape over the top of it to stop that coming out. So I've only got to take that. And with the mock pot, this is probably going to be the worst one because I've got to take a rather large mock pot, the coffee grinds, and also this rather large um, gas hob. Now you can get smaller hobs, but this is all I've got to hand at the minute. So in terms of preparation, I think it's going to have to be the French press, which takes the number one spot. started to notice already now we drop down into the valley that the wind has kind of calmed down a little bit so that's good it's a great spot and uh, there should be a river that runs down through the forest as well so hopefully that's where we can kind of set up and brew these coffees I see the river running down there. I'm just thinking, how do I get down? I could get down this way. I'm not too sure if this is a bit sketchy. I think I'm just going to go down this way. What do you reckon? I don't know. I don't know if it really shows very well on camera, but just across there where that tree line is, it just drops. So I'm not sure if there's a little bit of a mini cliff. And what I don't want to do, I don't want to get down there, I find there's a cliff and then I'm like, I've got to come all the way back up. Um, we'll find somewhere though, don't worry. So we can see the river going down here. Like that. That right there would be an awesome spot. If I can just get to it. What takes us this way? It might be a bit sketchy and it might get me in trouble with the wife and kids. But <laughs> let's go along this path. It's not even a path. Let's go and see what we can uh, what we can find. And if it's a way down here. Yeah, there's a way down. I'm gonna go for it. I got down and this place is perfect. Like, look at the scenery we've got here. We've got the river. This spot is exactly what I was looking for. We've even got a stone here, so I can stick the, the gas hob on that. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. I'm buzzing right now. 
Right, we're here. Let's get brewing some coffee. So the first coffee I'm going to brew is the mocha pot. Now, in terms of transportation, this was the worst. I've got this big, bulky gas hob. Now you can get smaller ones, but you still got to carry a gas hob around. And also I've had to bring out the, the bigger mocha pot because the other one was too small to sit comfortably. Just quickly talk about the coffee I'm brewing today. I am brewing Buxton Coffee Roasters again. And they're literally a few miles that way. Uh, they're really close and they do great coffee. This is not sponsored by Buxton in any way. It's sponsored by you guys. You know, it doesn't make money yet, this channel doesn't, but if you give it a thumbs up, or if you share it, and then great. And even, even better if you subscribe. So that's how this channel is supported by you, the viewers. If you can just hit the thumbs up for me, that'll be great. Whilst this is cooling down and getting ready to drink, I am going to brew up the French press coffee. Uh, I can do that and that can spend its time brewing just whilst that's cooling. Okay, let's try this mocha pot. Ooh. That's brilliant. So the overall review of the mocha pot was, preparation was, was pretty easy. Um, there wasn't a, a great deal to it. Transportation was an issue. I had to kind of stick in a big bulky gas stove and carry a big, big bulky mocha pot. Ease of use, it's okay. It's a very, you know, it's a good way of brewing coffee. You can easily get it wrong, but you've got to find somewhere where you've got a nice level surface, hopefully like a rock to put your stove on. And the coffee, it produces good coffee. Okay, let's now talk about the French press. Preparation, we already spoke about, is the easiest one. The coffee beans, the ground, put straight into the uh, French press, and I salad it the lid down. Straight away, super easy. Transportation, really simple. Just that's it. It's, it's small, it's compact, it fits one cup, I'm able to stick it in my backpack. As long as the lid salad tape down, I've got nothing to worry about. So transported, really, really easy. Ease of use, absolutely fantastic. All I've done, sat it down, poured some boiling water in, and I'm gonna sit here and wait for it to brew up. Just gonna stir it up a bit. Okay, so let's see how this uh, French press is thin now. It doesn't taste as strong, but I think that's because I just had the, the mocha pot, which really was strong. Uh, but it definitely could be stronger. Is that because the water maybe wasn't quite boiling, which meant it's not quite extracted that coffee? Could the grind potentially be a little bit finer? Could it be you could have just needed to sit there that little bit longer? Either way, it's a, it's a good cup of coffee. I can make a better French press, I know that for a fact. I would say the mocha pot makes a better coffee though. The next up is going to be the V60 filter. Now this is the one I made whilst I was up at Bamford Edge and I had an absolute disaster. So I'm hoping I'm not going to have quite the disaster this time. Okay, we're going to taste the V60 coffee. It's kind of on par with the French press, actually. What I would say, and what I've learned, is 
because the water isn't straight from boiling, it's still really hot but not boiling. It struggles to really fully extract the coffee. So I think if you're coming out, you could probably going to want to grind slightly finer than you would normally grind. So this is what I would normally grind it at home. Next time I'd come out, I'd, I'd grind it a little bit finer just to make the coffee a little bit stronger because I do like a really strong coffee. Ease of use, it's not as easy as the French press. Again, you've got to find somewhere decent where you can lay the cup down and you can pour your water in without the biscuit falling over. If I'm honest, for me, the winner in this is the French press. And the reason for that is it was super easy to use. It was super easy to transport. It was super easy to prepare and it still delivered a really good cup of coffee. What I would do next time is I would grind it a little bit finer to get it to extract that little bit better. But ultimately it delivered a good cup of coffee and that's what this is about. It's about how we can get out into the wild and have a really good cup of coffee. And the French press delivered that. I suppose now it's time to clean up. And the good thing about using coffee is you can put it straight on the floor. After all, it was ground this morning. <laughs>